this week. Four goals in the sand for last week. After being dropped, and he finds Wingard for the perfect start for Port Adelaide. Looks pretty good off the boot. Outside of the boot, pokes it back to Mitchell. Has to go. Bang. Caught by Davis. Held his ground. Boat flicks it up. And open goal. Need. Wingard lays the tackle on Ward. GWS 3 2 Ward. Put him in too high. Yeah, this, this is. Jason, you can say there's a lot so going on off the ball there, Jase. Just keep a big eye on Budge and Boke at the moment. Boke is absolutely trying to get under his um, Boke's skin, and he's just about to let one rip over Boke. Wingard claims he was pushed into the umpire then as well. Oh, he's, still, he's still getting involved, Travis Boke. He needs to walk away, because down in the middle of the here's another 50. Well, this is a game. It's hard to know where to look. Holding another 50. Here we go. Holding off the ball, another 50 metres. So this is going to go to Jeremy Cameron, 35 metres out. Yeah, look, let me tell you right now. Don't blame the umpires. They have to pay what they see. And there is so much going on around the moment. They are seeing stuff everywhere, and they've just got to pay these stupid free kicks. Spot fires everywhere. Jeremy Cameron looks great off the boot. Down here, Rory Lobb has come off. He's just on the bike at the moment. I think it might have just been a bit of a cork here. He's just trying to keep the legs warm down here. At the moment. It's just what's on behind play, Trengo and Lobb as well. I think Trengo's given him one there. Yeah, they've been going at it for I reckon a while. There's, there's been a couple of really good pop jump punch, punches, boys, and he's actually just trying to whack him in the cork here as well. Pretty smart there, Jackson. And there's a player down. Pinard has collided with a player downfield as well, and Shaw is attacking Pinard. Shaw is attacking Pinard, and they're all in there now. As you can see, left of frame. So I think it's Palmer running forward, not expecting contact. And he... Man with experience, Mark Rusciuto from the ball in, hop down, smear the outside of the boot to Patton, top of the goal square. Just his second game of the year, Jonathan Patton, with his first goal of the season. It's good to have him back. Look at the players. They come from everywhere, the Giants. That's great to see. Jason, I reckon Leo's just come down and said, you know what, boys? We, we started poorly. We're back in this game. They're only two points down. Don't go away. Do something stupid and give them easy free kicks. Exactly right. As he gets back to the box, he's greeted by the sight of his skipper limping. Look at Phil Davis. Goes in. Can't really see anything of that. He must have done it just as he was going in for the contest. Off hands. Archie was inside. Ebert's inside. Gives it to Archie from 40. And Port Adelaide back in front. Seconds tick down. Now he drives it long. Monfries in the spot goes up. Through by Archie. Feeds it out. Gray waiting for it. Monfries. Pocket. She might have to go here. Big leap and he blocks it. <laughs> Good time, right? Good time. Sensational. Good kick for goal. This is the Brendan Archie mark. Have a look at that. A couple of big men jockeying for it and he just takes the sit on top. There's the clearances. This one's big. Smith gets it to Griffin. Cool. Williams. Okay. He's got plenty on that. And that's all the way home. That is brilliant. Sensational goal for GWS. Game in the balance. Three points to the margin. The biggest margin of the game, by the way, was 23. Port Adelaide kicked the first four goals. Palmer, good steal. Now Darwin is ahead of McCarthy. Run down by Epi. It's all about the roll. Oh, wow. Skim, oh, tumble. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sure, why? Just. Oh, no. West off. Oh, he left that. Archie. Oh, he, oh, he took the step. On. He played on. He took the step. 
back into the lineup this week. Top class, big moment, massive kick. For lots of board players back, shouldn't be any free targets. He sets it up for the lead. Patton's down the aisle. Oh, Reese Palmer. Now, how does that happen? How does a little bloke take an uncontested mark in a pack? Well, there he is in his designer boots. For his fourth, and they're working for him tonight. Change inside to even big hit with shoulder in the mark contest. Ball hits the deck to Mitchell, feeds it back to Travis Boat, sends it to the square wide butcher of all people. Thank you, Sophie. Listen, bring that house down. High goal square, Wingard butcher. Talk about that sling tackle. I'll come back to you in a minute, right? Palmer, oh, he sidestepped. 